Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is challenges of African American youth and we're fortunate to have with us this morning to talk about some of the challenges faced by African American youth today are members of the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People uh, brought to us this morning by uh, Pastor Kay Walker. And uh, Pastor Walker, let's have you to give us some information, make some statements in reference to your background, education, and some of your experiences. And then uh, introduce the individuals that you have with you uh, this morning, and, okay. and, and then we'll give them an opportunity to say something about uh, their background, and then we'll uh, get into this second segment, and then we'll start talking about some of the challenges. Well, first of all, Dr. Haney, let me say thank you to you again for having, uh, giving us an opportunity to come on here and talk about some of the issues that we feel like are very necessary to talk about. Your program has always been a forum that gets the information out. It's very informative, so I just want to thank you first and foremost for that. Uh, my name is Kelvin Walker. I'm pastor of the Hands of God Christian Church. Uh, we're located at 600 North 2nd Street out here in East Nashville. I was born and raised here in Nashville. Uh, uh, made an attempt through the public school system to get an education. I was one of the bad guys, and uh, that didn't work out too well, but I ended up going into the Navy, spent a little time in the Navy, got out, Navy, went through OIC, got a GED, went to Tennessee State for a little while, didn't make it there, was strung out on drugs all during that period of time, and ended up incarcerated in the state prison system, and uh, got out of there, continued a life of crime, and then in 1986, God called me into ministry, and I've been doing mi works of ministry ever since. Got involved with the NAACP a few years ago, um, met some very, very uh, good people that uh, are here right now with me, and uh, I'd just like to introduce uh, Ms. Sydney Pritchard. She's the uh, president of the NAACP Youth, and uh, Mr. Joe Goldthree, he's the uh, chairperson of the Youth Advisory Council of which I'm a part of and mm -hmm. I'm delighted to be working with Joe because he's got a history with the NAACP that dates back to his childhood so I'm delighted and mm -hmm. just really excited to be working with him, uh, Ms. Pritch. Yeah, Mr. Pritch, why don't you give us some information about yourself, background, education, that kind of information and then Mr. Uh, Goldthree will give us uh, some information for, and then we'll end this uh, first segment of the show for today. Oh, I'd like to thank you for letting us on here today. Um, my name is Sydney Pritchard. I'm the president for the Youth uh, Committee and Council for the NAACP. Um, I'm a native Nashvilleian. I go to Hume Falls High School. I'm a sophomore, and that's about it for the most part. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Very good. Ms. Goldthree, uh, give us some information. And since since uh, she, as a sophomore, really don't have that much of a life, she's telling <laughs> us. But let's talk about, let's give you an opportunity to take some of her time to tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Joe Goldthree. Uh, I graduated from Pearl High School, went to Vocational Tech out there on White Ridge Road, trades. Trades have been my lifelong uh, success. I, um, I, I lived here in Nashville for all my life. I've been with the NAACP for 55 years. Mm -hmm. I was a junior NAACP person. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I am chairperson to bring the youth back to uh, be able to uh, go out and do the things we used to do. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so, Pastor Walker, uh, we're saying that the NAACP is still a very, very important organization. Oh, right? absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, without a doubt. And what, what's really impressive to me about the NAACP is the youth uh, part of the NAACP because mm -hmm. everybody knows that, you know, as, as members of the NAACP, we, we get older and... Mm -hmm. uh, and it's important that youth are trained up to carry on the work and the mission of the NAACP. And I'm just so, I'm impressed. I, I was hoping that uh, Sydney would give us a little bit more information about mm -hmm. herself because I'm impressed with her level of intelligence and the knowledge that she do have mm -hmm. in terms of, of, of leading and guiding mm -hmm. this particular aspect of the uh, youth in terms of raising up the youth and, and learning the parliamentary procedures and, and the things mm -hmm. that's necessary to guide the youth in the direction that it goes. Because Dr. Haney, you know, that most time when we hear about the youth, we're always hear something, something negative, negative but there's a positive thing that goes on with our youth that we don't get a lot of media attention. That's why I want to thank you once again for allowing us to come mm -hmm. on and, and, and to highlight some of the things that the youth are doing positive as we talk about the challenges that mm -hmm. the African-American youth are facing in mm -hmm. the world today. Uh, Ms. Pritchard, why don't you uh, reflect on some of the things that you're doing down at the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and uh, let our audience know uh, how important it is for people like yourself to become involved in the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Color. What are some of the things that you're doing in order to bring that about? 
Well, mainly in the recent months, we um, started um, we started a new chapter, the youth chapter, during the summer months. And mainly, it's been recruiting, it's been training, it's been making sure that all the youth that are involved in our organi organization are properly trained and aware of all the things that are going on, whether it's the Trayvon Martin case and or the amendments, the 14th, 15th, and such forth. And also, the training is how proper conduct and things such forth, like, um, Recently, we had a forum over at um, the First Amendment Center with uh, Mr. Sigenthaler and uh, Mr. Guthrie and two other people. And um, it was a really interesting forum. It was mainly highlighting the um, youth, the original youth that had taken part in the civil rights movements. And so it's just making sure that the youth that are involved in our NAACP are aware of where we've come from and also where we're going. And so you're making great strides in terms of trying to make them familiar with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. And I would imagine, Mr. Goldthree, uh, since you've already uh, indicated that uh, we, we're running out of time for this segment, and I, I, Ms. Goldthree, we'll, we'll pick up on this segment the next time. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short. The final segment of the show for today, we're talking to members of the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, uh, Pastor Walker, uh, Ms. Pritchard, and Mr. Goldthree. Uh, all three have given us some excellent information in reference to some of the challenges faced by African-American youth today. And let's uh, continue that, uh, that, that information, Mr. Goldthree, by uh, looking at uh, some of the things that the NAACP is doing now and has done in reference to making our young people much more aware of the importance of uh, that organization, and of course, Ms. Pritchard will hit, tie into that, and she'll make some statements, and then we'll end it up by uh, having Pastor Walker and the, in a general sort of roundtable kind of discussion in reference to this. Well, uh, one thing that I would always have the opportunity to take a look at is getting parents to support our new program. Mm -hmm. Our boards are set up for the individuals uh, from 13 and under to down to five. They become presidents, vice presidents, we learn the Robert Rural Order. They learn to be CPAs. They learn to be uh, treasurer. Uh, they run their own little organization. Our junior division, uh, uh, youth division, they starts out at uh, 19 to 13, and they have their own organization. Uh, thanks to the director of Halley Park, uh, gave us uh, meeting facilities down there where we meet on Saturdays. Uh, once a month and they run their own uh, organization. This is what we're trying to do, teach the children to be leaders at a younger age mm -hmm. and they will continue to mm -hmm. lead forward. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Pritchard, uh, that's essentially what you're doing in, in reference to uh, uh, being the president of the youth organization. In, in reference. How many members do you have in that organization uh, um, in a real sense? I mean, is We have at least 150 regular t uh, youth members and then we have at least about 30 lifetime members. You mean and you've got 150 young people uh, that come to a youth organization for the uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. I would say, uh, Pastor Walker, that that's an extraordinary uh, number of young people to get together uh, concerning such an organization. Uh, and, and evidently you're doing a great job, uh, much more than people would give you a credit for, because I, I really would not have thought that uh, it would be that many individuals who would be involved in the uh, youth uh, activities. What about uh, at, at uh, some of the colleges and some of the universities? Are, are you able to reach out to those institutions as well? Yes and no. Um, because of the way that our organization is set up, there's an age um, there's an age limit from each section, the youth and the juniors. Mm -hmm. And because of the age limit, it's 18. Um, it's either 18 or 21. I'm mm -hmm. forgetting at the current moment. But because of that age limit, normally the actual university level and the youth level we coincide together. Mm -hmm.